Hey, it's John David here from Silverton Analytics. In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of our case studies that we've posted to our Tableau public page. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check this visualization out for yourself. So what we're looking at here are two timeline visualizations that have been synced up. So the date lines up with this axis and this axis. So we're looking at our promotion calendar here. So this is each individual promotion and how long they ran. And then you can look up at this chart here to see the corresponding sales trends. For instance, this Black Friday special promotion led to a peak in sales. But the biggest peak that we ran into was due to this promotion right here, which is the Stay Cool with These Summer Deals promotion, which seems like a very big success. This is an eight times roughly a sales volume higher than the average. But there was some problems with this in that the sales and marketing team, they knew that they were going to have a, a peak, a jump in sales during this week. What they did not realize was how effective the promotion was going to be. So they had planned maybe a two or three X over the average sales volume. What they got was an eight X. So unfortunately about half of these sales that were made were never fulfilled and then they had to refund the money, which is kind of a shame. And unfortunately within this situation, the supply chain has a very long cycle in that you have to order the raw materials, assemble it, and then six months later, you can actually ship out to the product. So it's not like a one or two day turnaround where we could potentially backfill and back order, back order some of these sales that were missed. But not everything about this is a catastrophe. So yeah, we did lose about half the sales, but what we really hit on is we got the right message in front of the right person at the right time. So all that synced up. What we can do from here is take that message and start to A-B test. And so this happened in June, the week of June 25th. So maybe we could take it to June 11th and see that same message and maybe take it all the way to May and take it to July. So we're seeing a very sharp peak but the underlying potential sales might be a much more rounded bell-shaped curve. So there could be some seasonality going on as far as this specific product line. So the sales tend to be pretty down during the, the winter months and it might just be some seasonality of high sales volumes during the summer and then you know, maybe during the winter times, a lot of these wintertime peaks are due to clearance sales. So now that they have a much bigger, better, higher resolution picture of, of what's going on as far as buyer behavior goes, they can start to plan as far as demand planning goes as well.